So we'll automate something on YouTube to make your life a little bit easier on your upload. Um, first thing I want to say is how do you get to your upload default page is you go to this little cog here, just click on it, it will bring you up this page and you want the view additional features. Then on the left hand side, upload defaults. And now this is the page that will be the default upload. So everything you put in here will be on every upload. Doesn't mean it's permanent, just means it's there. What I mean is, here's an example. I could put Philippines Expat here. So that would appear on every video I upload. Now I could use that as a pretext of the video. So for example, it could be Philippines Expat, and then when I edit it as it's uploading, I could go discusses apartment rents, apartment rents in Seabrook. So, but every time you upload, it's going to keep that Philippines Expat because it's remembered. You said it's got to be in the title, so it means that when you go upload, that'll appear, and then you can put the rest of the information in there. So let's leave that like that. Now description. A lot of people like to add other bits and pieces about themselves. Here we have me in Word. Um, it's got my website, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr uh, photos. Maybe you want to drop those in your description. Because I know a lot of people never look at, at the About Me page on YouTube. They'll say, how do I email you? How do I contact you? It's all on the About page. But if, people, if this is in every video, they know how to get hold of you. So that will be auto loaded now doesn't mean don't put a description about the video put that above it you just slip that up you know clip it down then go this video discusses whatever it is you know put a description descriptions are important I recommend a minimum of 150 words um, I wouldn't go any less than that somewhere between 150 and 450 would be perfect um, then the next thing is tags because tags are very important Tags is how a lot of information is understood. So this, these videos are about the Philippines. So I go over here and I'm going, okay, let's grab this here um, and drop my tags in there. These are all my Philippines tags. This is like Philippines expat, British expat, American expat. Tags are descriptive saying this video is about a British expat, American expat, whatever. Information because it's relevant to the information, so that is now set as automatic. Now, I've got Creative Commons, there's a standard YouTube license. Read up on those. The reason I won't talk about them is because sometimes the rules change regularly, so there's no point going, Oh, this week it's like this because it may alter. Your category, make sure you're in the right category because there's different ones. If you're discussing cars and vehicles, go to cars and vehicles. Um, but generally, I'm people in blogs um, because my information is people in blogs. It's my personal viewpoints, etc. You can allow comments. Sometimes people switch this off, um, especially if you get a lot of trolling. You know, it depends if you want people to comment. Comments are always good. Um, it helps you with your rankings, but also helps get a following of subscribers etc because you you have that engagement uh, which is really positive it doesn't matter you know you will get the odd troll delete ban blocks onto the next one uh, because I don't mind having a discussion with people um, but sometimes they're just abusive and it's non relevant to the topic just delete ban block if they're like that because YouTube gets a lot of trolls uh, so they can like and dislike as well. Uh, you can switch that on and off. You can monetize with ads, which obviously I have. Uh, different types of ads. I could do another tutorial on that. Uh, you can have ads in the middle of a video. I don't know if I should put that on or not. I I don't like mid ads, and consider I, I get irritated by TV that's like 15 minutes between ads on a five minute video. Would I get irritated when it? two and a half minutes I would <laughs> uh, set your video language because then YouTube knows what language it's in which helps with subtitles um, 
closed captions, but also people know it's in English, um, which helps with your Google searches, etc. Uh, you can ask people if they want to contribute for your subtitles and closed caption. If you're getting a good following, you might get somebody in a different language that finds your stuff fascinating um, and wants to help expand it out into other languages because maybe he finds it's relevant to their country. Because a lot of stuff I talk about is the Philippines. And I know most people in the Philippines do speak English, but people do prefer things in their own language. It's never been aired on t television in the US. Uh, these things are... It's to do with the caption certification. Um, I just put it as it's not aired in the US because it never has. Uh, it's always been on YouTube. Uh, edit suggestions. This will be things that YouTube suggests to you. It will say, it's it's a bit wobbly. Do you want me to stabilize it? It does stuff, like the audio, the, there's different things that YouTube can actually help fix your videos with. That's why it's good to keep that switched on. Video location is also relevant. See, I'm actually sat in Spain, but the videos are relevant to Cebu. So ideally, because you got to think about it. If I'm traveling around, just give it that location. If I'm traveling around Spain and I'm in Madrid, I can set that location there that I'm in Madrid, which for Google, it can use it more than one way. Because if I do a video on Madrid, it can see I'm in Madrid, the location, etc. It all helps with Google rankings and searchings. Um, make video statistics on the what's paid publicly visible. This is just your statistics of how many t people have viewed it, etc. And I've no problem with sharing anything I've got on mine. But doing this, and just I'll just click save, uh, it will help you fill in a lot of the information, the repetitive stuff that you may skip over. Let's put it that way. That's the polite way. Like all your Instagram stuff and all that. Maybe you can't be bothered to do that every video. But this way, it's already in the video. Hope you find that useful. Yeah.